What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reacting to my R35 GTR if you're confused or if you're kind of new to the channel I actually run another YouTube channel called Living Life Fast where I do car features, I do car builds, I've got like a little car collection and uh, I had a GTR built by JM Imports and I think the final dyno numbers were like 1889 brakes so basically 1900 horsepower, the car is ridiculous one of the fastest in the country it's on an eight second dead quarter mile and uh, it's a street legal car i don't really drive it much you know it's too powerful for this weather all you're gonna do is break it so it's waiting for good weather but the car was taken onto a massive youtube channel called car wow and uh, we're gonna just react and watch it race in a few other cars some you may have not seen so let's get straight into it slow me down like speed hump no keep up when i speed up see your future that's my past yeah. see the smoke when i drive past yeah. fast lane living life yeah, car wow, nearly 7 million subscribers. And uh, basically, my GTR raced uh, a 1200 brake twin turbo R8 and also it raced an 1100 horsepower McLaren 720S. So these are some really fast cars. In fact, the fastest cars in the country. There's obviously faster cars. I think my car is ranked like third or fourth fastest on car wow. I've done an 8.9 on an unprepped surface. I think it was Buzz, Buzz Singh. Uh, he's got an Instagram account. He's got the Europe's fastest uh, hurricane. We basically both got the same time, 8.9, but he did it before. So is above but yeah really really fast cars so yeah let's just get straight into watching this video pretty okay long. we're gonna race but before we do the obligatory sound check this is what a build Jeez. GTR sounds like I'm frightened <laughs> Listen, man, say I've got a sick I, job there. This guy's got the fucking sickest job. I was like, I meant to go there myself and I was going to drive it myself. I just kept telling Jurgen, I'm like, listen, just let Matt take it. Like, he's like, nah, you come. I'm like, nah, let Matt drive it. I want to get his reaction in the car, literally. So that's why I did it. I don't mind. Like, if you got to remember that drag racing is simple. You can't really do much to break. If it breaks, it breaks, isn't it? It's just a straight line. Put your foot down. Yeah, so this is uh, Auto Talks Twin Turbo um, R8. Uh, this is just like a basic turbo kit you just bolt them on and you've got a ridiculously fast car this car is like dynoed think about 12 just under 1300 brake i think this one dynoed i like that though for some reason this car's just holding like two and a half thousand rpm anyway let's hit the mclaren yeah so i think that's the uh throttle bodies a sticky throttle body possibly i'll tell you what guys do you know what to make it a bit fairer for you because i've got 1600 horsepower I'm actually so for anyone confused him saying 1600 food, horsepower so he's talking about 1600 wheel horsepower yeah so what he's going to do is he's going to go from map four which is my all-out fucking scatty map he's going to reduce it down to sort of like uh, probably about 1400 wheel um, only gonna launch with 1400 horsepower so you have yeah there you go more of a so he's not talking about brake horsepower he's talking about wheel horsepower it gets real technical with all this drag racing loads of people chat shit and like this car if you see the title of this video my car's titled as 1400 1600 horsepower his car's titled as 1200 horsepower but mine's wheel horsepower this one's brake horsepower so you got to be careful out here man there's a lot of sort of trickery and the thing is when you start to get to this level of of performance it's all about making yourself not look as powerful as you are if you know I mean so the clout is it's like the less power your car's got the better you look right so most people want to show off and say yo man's got 10,000 brake but go get spanked by a car do you know what i'm trying to say so the big guys they're kind of they're, they're deceiving everyone's trying to deceive basically yeah. that's me or is that because you're scared of 1600 not me man's a realist out here. yeah everyone else is just yeah everyone's just it's stage two it is because i'm scared of 1600 horsepower that's correct okay um shut up let's, let's just get on with this all right <laughs> bro, look at the map, man. Fuck it, no, bro. Oh, it's floating. Gone. That GTR's quick. Yeah, you know when Yanni busts them bars, isn't it? <laughs> check it, check it, check it. Cheese and <laughs> bread. It like just floats. The wheels yeah, literally, just it just floats, it's just floats like man. Floating, going forwards, it's nuts. Dangerous, dangerous car it is. 
GTR, oh my God. I'm happy with my launch. Is everyone else happy with their launch? I can't see anyone. Is anyone else there? Do you need your underpants changed, mate? Worst thing is, Matt's driven that car faster than me. Like, he did half a mile, innit? I've only done quarter of a mile in this car. Listen, I launched well and I was happy with mine, but that was ridiculous. Sam, what happened to you, mate? Sam is so far away from us, his mic doesn't even work. <laughs> <laughs> Did he even join in? I don't know what happened. So that's PPL Tuning, uh, JD, the owner. I'm like good friends with him. Remember, it's rear wheel driven. Uh, these cars, they do about a thousand wheel, maybe 1100 wheel. You know, these are some fast cars. And you know what? With these McLarens, you've really got to dial in traction. It's not a joke, man. You've got to know how to put the power down in rear wheelers. Can't really compare them to, to, to this level of car, you know? Remember, I've got a 720S as well. And uh, I did consider modifying it, but because of the GTI, it's like, what's the point in it? Like, here from. Maybe he was too busy developing the car that he didn't develop enough skills to launch it properly. <laughs> Bro, that's actually really funny. Mate, that's probably one of the funniest things you've said. That's good banter. Okay, Sam, what happened? So we were in launch mode. It just uh, decided it didn't want to do a full launch. I guess it's safe to be cautious when you push it that much horsepower. It's all set now by the looks of it, so let's go again. I don't know if my heart can take going again, mate. He's probably had the warning from Jürgen, like, yo, one run, in it, Like, <laughs> he's like... Here we go again. Look, you see at some stage the G-Char just takes off, look. There, it's getting traction now. It just goes. Jesus! <laughs> yeah, um, you beat the McLaren, yeah? <laughs> of course. Well, thanks for joining <laughs> us this time. It's nice to see you up here, Sam. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me, guys. It's lovely to be up with you. It was enjoyable. <laughs> I enjoyed looking at the back of Yanni. It was fun. <laughs> So then what exactly happened? Well, the Nissan won, completing the standing quarter mile in 8.9 seconds. The Audi was second with a time of 9.4 seconds. For anybody confused, it's an unprepped surface. These are like street radials, you could say, 18 inch wheels. And when you build a car to this level, the limiting factor is traction. That's all it is. It's all down to traction, man. When you watch any form of motorsport, it's traction. You know what I mean? Tires are massive, wheels and tires. So this isn't the optimum setup. You know, this is a dusty runway. This isn't how you do fair racing, you know? When you build high performance cars, really you should be at Santa Pod, you know what I mean? On a nice sticky surface, prove who's got the fastest car. And the McLaren was last. And that's what we'll be doing this year as well. In 9.7 seconds. I want to show you something about this car, which really just reveals how brutal the launch is. So when the owners set the car up the owners, morning, they drew a line here and here on the rim. So that was level with that but the power of this thing just rotated <clears throat> the wheel inside the tire. Look at the other side as well. Come on, look at this. It doesn't slip quite as much. You can see how far it slipped on this side, but even here at the front, you can see the mark has slipped you know, a couple of inches at the front. That is insane. And his wife. Madness. Now, a lot of you watching might be thinking, Matt, why didn't you do the drag race at full boost? It would have gone even quicker. Well, actually, it probably wouldn't have because That's sometimes true. the launch control can trip out and it struggles to put its power down. However, now, I'm just going to press this button. It doesn't trip out at all. It, it just will spin too much. Simple as. Like, even Cal Freeze, you have four maps on this car. Well, there's actually eight, but the third Cal is the setting he would have launched off in. And uh, I've done the tests a few times. And even Cal 2, I think, may be slightly quicker. But yeah, Cal Freeze freeze the limit that you want to go and a uh, cow four forget about it it'll just overwhelmingly spin so as i say limiting factors are tires and wheels do you know what i mean it's a street car but you know and i've got full boost which means i've gone from 1400 to 1600 horsepower and we have a rolling so this race is gonna be third gear. so he's putting so in, uh, so he's max power now so this is actually 1900 horsepower but Puns. okay everybody are you ready let's do this Three. One thing Matt didn't use in my car was a rolling anti-lag. I've got like a rolling launch control which pre-spools the turbos, which he would have just annihilated these. Well, you know, no, no disrespect or anything, but. Two, one, go. Like, look, lag, on, lag, 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 boom, on. Off, 
big hole of talk, <laughs> and then all the talk. A bit like Yanni. What's up for you, Yan? You like, got away nicely, then you kind of didn't. This is so quick, man. Honestly, it's so, so nice. When I glanced over at you, when you started to come past me, you know your bonnet started lifting up and I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> Nissan GTR, isn't it? <laughs> the reality is, is that nowadays it's a 40, 45 grand motor. So yeah, that's the GTR, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna watch it all because the next one's just a brake test. Uh, one thing I wanna, want, wanna mention is, um, it's like, almost like I'm making excuses, but these guys, they don't show a, a, a full take of the car racing so it's loads of editing so they go between multiple cameras so it's not a real-time race like if you actually count the seconds it takes to go from the quarter of a mile to the finish line if you count it it's like double the time for our viewing pleasure it's edited to make it look more fun and switching between cameras but if you actually see a raw one take i believe that my car you would have seen go lag 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 boost and then you would have seen the car catch a lot quicker it makes it look like it takes forever to catch but that's what i'm hoping it is anyway <laughs> but yeah, uh, so yeah, that's my GTR guys. I know a lot of you are missing that car on the channel. And uh, look, it's just the wrong weather for that car, man. You can't drive it on the street, it's as simple as. I mean, you can drive it on the street, but it's not that car. It's really not that car. The level I've taken it to, it's just bullshit. Even at 1300 horsepower, that car, the way it spins up and, you know, wheel spinning means braking. I've spent a lot of money on this car, but I have not got the coin to keep potentially having to fix do you know what I'm trying to say? I'm, I'm not on it. So a quick little update. I do plan to get that car into the sevens, but obviously there will be like a proper update on Living Life Fast pretty soon. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you want to see any more of my cars, I had a 1000 horsepower M5 as well, F90, uh, which they also uh, featured on this channel. So so yeah, till next time. Can't slow me down like speed hum. No. Keep up when I speed up. No. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See your girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel that's five stars yeah. Make the rules disappear